2015 festival campaign, celebrating our natural world, showcases trees and gardens for the natural beauty and environmental benefits. The nation's greatest springtime celebration here draws more than one and a half million folks from near and far, and you're witnessing quite an event. And we also have now the Taiko groups in Japan coming out of one of the top performing arts universities. Thunder and Taiko drumming meets traditional Japanese dance as nearly 30 drummers Anita Baker, Shaka Khan, and Sade as the roots which shaped her sound. Deborah and her dynamic band have been performing as a collective group for 10 years, not only here in the U.S. and abroad, and most recently receiving a standing ovation at D.C.'s legendary Howard Theater right around the corner here. They made their U.K. debut on the opening night of the 2012 Summer Olympics, headlining London's Jazz Cafe. In other venues...
Now, if that was a real cherry blossom chili, imagine the size of the tree. I know. Well, at least you wouldn't have to zoom in to get a good picture. <laughs> for short. The band program has a long history of success in all aspects of performance and offers one of the most competitive music educational opportunities in the region down there. The marching band performs in numerous civic events in the community parades. Over that time, the band has performed in the Presidential Inaugural Parade, the Liberty Bowl Parade, the 6 ABC Dunkin' Donuts Thanksgiving Day Parade, at the Chick-fil-A Beach Bowl, the Tostitos Fiesta Bowl, and in, 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 in Festival Disney at the Walt Disney World Resort in Orlando. Now let's listen to the Biloxi High School Band from Biloxi, Mississippi. I love the cars. Look at that Ford GT there. Woo! Now, Lou is a car guy, right? He knows cars and inside out. Lou, of all the Mustangs, did you ever have your eyes set on one of them? If you could have it. Yeah, 1967 Mustang. Yeah. Well, the 1967 Shelby, the one that just drove by, is the most expensive Mustang ever sold. I have yeah. a feeling he doesn't valet that car much. No, I don't think so. <laughs> Now coming down Constitution Avenue, let's welcome the Unistar's unicycle team. They were founded back in 2005 and they enjoy performing in parades like this one, festivals all around the D.C. metro area, even West Virginia. They make up riders aged from 10 to 18 and they perform at all kinds of charity events, the Unistar's, including the Special Olympics. Airport is proud to sponsor the National Cherry Blossom Festival's annual springtime celebration in the nation's capital. Did you know that each year the National Cherry Blossom Festival spreads the beauty of the blossoms beyond the tidal basin through its neighborhood tree planting program? Hundreds of trees have been planted throughout the area, including 200 trees in Oxen Run Park, creating the largest grove in D.C. outside the Tidal Basin. Our presentation of the National Cherry Blossom Festival Parade here on Constitution Avenue is presented by Events D.C., and it continues with a very special performance. Thank you to the Field <laughs> Wonderful performance. depends on the support of public contributions in order to maintain so many free events and programs. We make donations at nationalcherrymossonfestival.org. And what a sight coming down the street right now. This is the biggest balloon in today's parade. It's Doraemon, one of the most beloved characters of Japan. Doraemon is a robot cat from the 22nd century who travels back in time to help a boy in Nobi. Together, they go on adventures using secret gadgets from Doraemon's fourth dimensional pocket. The hit animated show is now 48 volunteer balloon handlers who are assisting him today. Say hello, Doraemon! Hi, 
you guys holding up your arms sore yet? Come on, volunteers. It's okay to admit it. You're doing a great job. Hold that down. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Lou, why is it every time you talk to the volunteers for the events each year? Singing Walking on Air, joined by R&B vocalist Bella Blue. Let's give it up for Let's Buzz. Congratulations, what a great performance. Thank you, Lance. I was just, uh, I got a little alert on my phone. It's some breaking entertainment news since Lance is here. It's in sync with Justin Triplett and Chris Cabillo. Welcome to Boy. Yes. And I hear drums in the distance. Yes, we are talking about Martin Tenko from Okinawa. The members marching today took us of travel from as far away as Okinawa, Japan, in Texas and Wisconsin. And we have locals too from Waldorf and Rockville, Maryland. The group performs both modern and traditional forms of Okinawan drumming and dance. The goals of this multicultural group are to help spread friendship and peace throughout the world. Virginia for 42 years, 
participate in parade meets, shows, and events each year. Of the five million Model A's built between 1928 and 1931, an estimated 100,000 of them still travel the highways and byways of the world today. These cars are cool. Dark Cars for being the official vehicle sponsor of the National Cherry Blossom. Blossom Festival Parade. Now from the state of New Hampshire, marching into view is the Salem High School Blue Devil Marching Band and Color Guard. The Salem High School Blue Devil Marching Band and Color Guard has performed in the Tournament of Roses Parade in Pasadena, the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade in New York City, the Fiesta Bowl Parade in Arizona, the Citrus Bowl Parade in Florida, the Philadelphia Thanksgiving Day Parade, and the inaugural parade for President Ronald Reagan, as well as performances for Presidents Ford, Bush, and Clinton. The band has also been featured at Disneyland, Walt Disney World Resort's Magic Kingdom, and Epcot Center. The Salem Band came to Washington, D.C. to participate in the 1968 National Cherry Blossom Festival Parade. However, because of unrest in the wake of the assassination of Dr. Martin Luther King, they were forced to return home without performing. Well, we are very proud that we are able to complete the parade nearly 50 years later. Some members of the current ensemble have family members who were part of the band that did not get to march back in 1968. And they're under the direction of Marty Clausen. Let's listen and watch. is a branded unit sponsor of our National Cherry Blossom Parade and a Securus Circle supporter. Dunkin' Donuts provides freshly brewed coffee and a variety of delicious bakery products in more than 175 locations right around the Eastern Metro area. Dunkin' Donuts offers a reward program called Be First to remember to earn points and reward you coffee to see any free beverage Dunkin' Donuts sampling truck, which is just nearby, and 15 and contribution by the Walmart Also available in Dunkin' Donuts stores in D.C. is Pennsylvania. This area is home to several groups of the Amish or Pennsylvania Dutch people. The average 
size of these prancers is about seven hands or just one fourth the size builders and leaders of the city as well as the countless band alumni for their various generous donations and making the trip possible. Today marks the third national parade since 1996 for the pride of Torrington. The band is led by drum major Molly Servant and under the... Now get your jackets back on. It's getting cool out here. All right. <laughs> Again, brought to you by... Washington Dallas International Airport. They have more airlines offering flights to more destinations than any other airport in the region. Visit flydallas.com for details. It's the nation's greatest springtime celebration where there's no better place to be than right here in our nation's capital. So thank you to Johnson's Florist and Garden Centers for providing the beautiful fresh flower arrangements on some of the floats in the parade today. Now we have a lot, a lot of out-of-towners here and wherever city you live in, of course, you probably watch the weather forecast and you have your favorite weather guy. Well, here in Washington, D.C., and especially on a day like today, we want to welcome Chief Meteorologist for WUSA 9, Topper Shuck. Hey, Topper! Love Topper Shuck. Thank you for the weather today, Topper! Hey, could you be a little warmer and less windy, Topper? <laughs> Work time. on that next time. Next time. He appears on the station 6, 7, and 5, plus the 11 p.m. newscast, as well as throughout the day and night during all major weather events affecting the Washington metro region. And Topper is a busy guy, not only in the Weather Center, he often speaks about meteorology at area schools, rotary clubs, and appears as an MC at many charitable functions. It's been on Channel 9 longer than the White House has been in existence. We love Topper shut. It's great to have you out here, Topper. Well, here comes every Fraggles busy friend, Spike Doozer, brought to you by Dark Cars. Spike loves to say, let's get to it and do it, do it, do it. Even for a Doozer, Spike takes the notion of thinking outside the box up to the stratosphere. Doozers are green, they're cute, they're three inches tall, and they're full of energy, ideas, and enthusiasm. Our balloon spike stands at a magnificent 40 feet tall and has 32 doozer friends helping him work his way down Constitution Avenue. Thank you and wave. Sponsor of this year's parade volunteer program. Right here in the Washington, D.C. area alone, there's more than 500 subway restaurants, more than 43,000 subway restaurants worldwide. And pedaling down Constitution Avenue, our members from the Mount Air. like they used to. Now this looks like a lot of fun. It's the party on the wheels. A tricycle paddled by seven riders sitting in a circle where one person steers while everyone is free to pedal or not as the bike moves up the street. Downtown DC business improvement district are things like safety, hospitality, and yes, maintenance employees known as the SAMS. S A M S. These men and women are our red and blue uniform neighborhood concierges that are spread out all over the District of Columbia. And you're now seeing members of the downtown business improvement district SAMS safety, hospitality, and maintenance team. Downtown Sands are very busy, always working hard to provide a friendly, welcoming, and reassuring presence throughout downtown Washington. You'll notice them while you're down here, especially if you're out of town. Over 100 Sands work in downtown D.C. to keep our district
some theme pipe wrap was created in celebration of this year's National Cherry Blossom Festival. Now representing the Orangeburg Consolidated School District 5 out of Orangeburg, South Carolina, is the Orangeburg Washington High School Orange Pride Marching Band. Led by the drum major, Jerry Lee. The marching band is comprised of mostly honor roll students and officers who are leaders of student organizations within school. Wearing the colors of orange and maroon, the band prides themselves on bringing joy to everybody through the art of music. And their motto is, pain is temporary, pride is forever. Which means they go through what they go through to bring the best to you at all times. The Orange Pride Marching Band is under the direction of Michael McLean. This, by the way, is the band's fifth year under the, under the leadership of Mr. McLean. Throughout its history, the Orange Pride Marching Band has performed at a high level, consistently receiving excellent and superior ratings. Wilkinson High School Orange Pride Marching Band out of Orangeburg, South Carolina. We appreciate you coming up. Now, if you're a singer tonight at nationalcherryblossomfestival.org forward slash sing to find how you can compete in next year's Sing Into Spring competition. You're now witnessing the United States Air Force Academy Cadet Honor Guard, which was founded in 1974 to be the premier drill and ceremony unit of the Air Force Academy. And these cadets not only participate in armed drill competitions and parades like this, but are also involved in many ceremonial details around the Academy, such as promotion ceremonies, retirements, and providing funeral honors for fallen cadets and graduates. The Cadet Honor Guard sends competition teams consistently, primarily of freshmen to various national level events. Most team members have no prior drill experience before joining, joining the team. And after a year of practice and prep, the competing teams often place first or second in armed exhibition drills. Now floating above the parade ground are these beautiful cherry blossom decorated Japanese paper lantern balloons brought to you by Microsoft. Microsoft continues to be an active leader here in D.C., celebrating innovations, enabling technology, and empowering our local community. These green and beige 15-foot lanterns illuminate the way for celebrations and festivals of all kinds, such as the National Cherry Blossom Festival Parade. Microsoft's involvement in D.C. puts technology at the forefront of our community, inspiring innovation and empowering students. We look forward to seeing what kind of innovation they spark in the district this year. We thank the Microsoft employees carrying these lantern balloons down Constitution Avenue today. Thank you! Now, leading the way on horseback, oh, this is wonderful, is the 2015 Miss Rodeo Virginia, Caitlin Gill. And she rides in on an American quarter horse and is accompanied by visiting royalty from Illinois, Arkansas, Wisconsin, even Wyoming. This is the sixth appearance in the parade for the Miss Rodeo Virginia program, which is a sponsorship-based pageant that selects a young lady who represents the state of Virginia, traveling throughout the country, promoting the rural lifestyle. These cowgirls will travel the country appearing in over 50 events riding their quarter horse Beautiful horses again. So many of them in the break today. <laughs> now the C.V. Russell Jr. Ambassador Marching Band was formed in August of 2004 under the auspices of Mount Carmel Baptist Church Pastor Bishop C.V. Russell Jr. They're going to be embarking on their 11th season. The beautiful jewelry, collectibles, and so much more. And proceeds, of course, support the National Cherry Blossom Festival. Yeah. All right, a little while ago, we did some uh, trivia for the National Cherry Blossom Festival and the festival parade. All right, the 
this next Everybody question is a true or false question, okay? So cheer for whichever one you think it is. The oldest cherry trees on the National Mall predate the Jefferson and Lincoln Memorial. Taylor. Cheer if you Taylor. think this is true. And false. Yeah, she's up there. It is true. Very good. Most of you do that. This way with the whole crowd. Hey, by the way, we do want to tell you about what's going on after the parade today. Lots of things happening here in the District of Columbia. Of course, it's the official last weekend of the National Cherry Blossom Celebration and Festival, but lots going on, including the 55th Annual Sakura Mitsuri Japanese Street Festival. It's a long, it's a long the entrances, I should say, are along Constitution Avenue between 10th and 12th. It goes on until 6 o'clock today. This is the biggest Japanese festival in America. There's four stages with live entertainment, all kinds of vendors, a beer garden, and all kinds of great things. So we urge you to check it out starting to new, today at noon. And I also want to remind you that we have ability to purchase. your favorite smarter than your average bear character it is yogi bear <laughs> and he's brought to you by capital one bank now capital one bank is proud to invest in their community by supporting the nation's greatest springtime celebration the one you are witnessing this morning and keeping the festival blooming a little history on yogi he made his debut back in 1958 as a character in the huckleberry hound World TV is an English language channel that's produced by Japan's 
only public broadcasting network. They offer the latest news as well as programs featuring traditional culture and contemporary trends from Japan. Today, they have with them their now the parade, as it winds down in just a little while, does not mean it's the end of the festivities here for the National Cherry Blossom Festival, because there's lots more going on. We mentioned a little while ago, we want to say it again, you definitely want to check out the Secure Mitsuri Japanese Streets Festival covering six blocks on Pennsylvania Avenue. It's $10 per person, children 12 and under, get in free. It's produced by the Japan American Society of Washington. There's all kinds of things going on. It's open until 5.30. Plus, you also have other things to check out today. While you're here. So if you have a chance, check out that and also the street festival right around the corner. Want to thank Domo again for taking time to walk all the way down Constitution Avenue. Domo, don't worry. We'll be watching television again soon. We also want to take a moment out to thank Dark Cars for being the official vehicle of the National Cherry Blossom Festival Parade. This spring has sprung a salute to veterans float, honors DC area servicemen and women. The 50 Today are brought to you by the museum, which if you haven't been to while you're visiting the city, is one of DC's most iconic landmarks located on the historic the Miss America organization, we'd like to welcome Teresa Davis, Miss District of Columbia 2014. So her platform is Five Star Families, a salute to our military and their families. And Miss Marilyn J. Kennedy, Kenny, she was second runner-up to Equality of Life and a preliminary swimsuit winner at the 2015 Miss America pageant, which was held this past September in Atlantic City. The plant community, a donate life organization promoting organ, eye, and tissue donation. Did you know that there are more than 123,000 people in this country waiting for a life-saving organ transplant? And almost 2,200 of them are in the Washington, D.C. metro area. It reminds us that in the spring, as new life blooms, we all have the opportunity to provide new life through donation. Now give her a big wave. <laughs> Riding in these incredible cars is Miss America.
Ladies and gentlemen, get your uh, get your elbow, elbow, wrist, wrist wave. All right, we've got a very special guest coming up. And the next quote, Lou's gonna tell you who it is. But I've got my parade wave, really. Hope you're staying warm. The sun is shining, and it is a beautiful day. Seeing some cherry trees right behind us here surrounding the Washington Monument. But the big show is over here at the title. So if you haven't made your way over there, it's only about a 10, 15 minute walk. And you'll get right on by. The only thing we ask you to do is make sure you look and don't touch. Or don't plug. Constitution, Angelina Molin. Angela Molin. Angela Molin, if you lost your purse, it's at 15th and Constitution. Amtrak is America's railroad, the nation's intercity passenger rail service and its high speed rail operator, and is proud to be a corporate sponsor of the 2015 National Cherry Blossom Festival. Enjoy the journey on Amtrak. Now, the group has. The group has performed in this parade and the July 4th parade here in Washington for more than the last seven years. A special moment for them was when they were honored to be the official swing dancers at the dedication of the World War II Memorial right around the corner on our National Mall.
cheer for a gun of swing. Woo! Love the performance, love the outfits. Thank you so much for that grand performance. The Port Huron Northern Husky Marching Band. Last year, one of the ensembles was invited to play at the Michigan State's Music Conference, and there they have earned top ratings in 22 of their last 27 performances with the festival. The band director is Eric Sandmajor. Now I want to remind you folks again, you're all invited to attend the 55th Annual Sakuri Matsuri Japanese Street Festival. It's going to be six blocks along Pennsylvania Avenue, and you can enter at 10th and uh, 12th Constitution, okay? The uh, Sakuri Matsuri is the biggest Japanese festival in America, and it's open until 6 p.m. today. It's 10 bucks, and children 12 and under are free. The street festival is produced by the Japan American Society of Washington, D.C., and this year they're going to have four stages with more than 20 hours of live performances, over 25 vendors of Japanese fare and products, as well as a beer garden. And also want to remind you that if you want to purchase any official National Cherry Blossom merchandise, it is available here along Constitution Avenue at 9th. 12th and 14th streets. Just look for the 2015 poster that features the official art by Jing Jing Song, t-shirts, commemorative items, and more. They're all getting set up now. Now, here's a performance from the Port Huron Northern High School and from Michigan. Valentina.
the opening ceremony showcasing outstanding American and Japanese artists. The Blossom Kite Festival is an annual tradition held here on the Washington Monument grounds that kicks off kite flying season. Today is a perfect day for kites. There's also a spectacular fireworks display that lights up the night sky. These are just a few of the many events that are part of the nation's greatest springtime celebration, the one you're enjoying today. Visit nationalcherryblossomfestival.org to learn about next year's 2016 National Cherry Blossom Festival. And you're invited to share your experiences too. Of course, you can do that on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And visit nationalcherryblossomfestival.org. The Dogwood Trail Court from Baldwin County, Alabama, celebrating its 55th anniversary this year. And they're sponsored by the Eastern Shore Optimist Club and include high school sophomore, junior, and senior girls selected to represent their community through a pageant and scholarship program. The girls serve a one-year term and make appearances as goodwill ambassadors at community events across Baldwin County, as well as the state of Alabama, and of course, right here in Washington, D.C. By providing hope and positive vision, optimism brings out the best in kids. This has been their mission back to Washington, D.C. They are under the leadership of the Eastern Shore Optimist Club, Joanne Broadus, Director and Angela Cox, and Assistant Director. Look at those dresses. Those are incredible. You love them? I think I wore them today and enjoyed our National Cherry Blossom. Chili Amar, so thrilled to be here. We want to make your way down the Sakura Matsuri Japanese Street Festival, which is produced by the Japan American Society of Washington, D.C., six blocks along Pennsylvania Avenue till 6 p.m. I want to thank all the parade sponsors and fantastic volunteers. It's been such a great time hosting. Lou and I look forward to seeing you again next year. Enjoy and make a great day. Thank you.